try your best, but you don't succeed. Let us kind of take it in. On it still doesn't feel real. It really hurts me to see people thinking that Matt is being so callous about this when he was being when he this 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 lost hurt all of us and it hurt him a lot because people we lost a friend and I get so angry when I see people say that Matt is doing such callous things or that he had he hasn't publicly responded to this when I was there in the call when he broke the news to us and broke down crying because we lost a friend. That's why it shatters my heart to tell you that on July 4th, Ronnie was found dead, a victim of suicide. We found out two days later. We had been communicating about a project that he was editing on. He went silent for a couple days, and so we went to his apartment to check up on him only to be met with a coroner's notice. The next day, Stephanie and I were in the hospital about to have our first baby. As you can imagine, it was an emotional weekend. And it's been an emotional roller coaster ever since. Any way you slice it, Ronnie's loss is a tragedy. Any loss like this is a tragedy. He was my friend, and he was the person who worked on this channel Longer than anyone, second only to Stephanie and I. But I hope that through his tragic loss, there could be some good that comes out of this. That this video and the conversations that ensue in some way start to break down the stigmas around talking about mental health, social anxiety, and suicide. First and most importantly, remember, you are never alone. Never even if it feels like you have no one to talk to. Even if you're talking to someone and it feels like they can't say the right thing, it's okay. It's about you not having to carry the burden yourself. I'll be honest, I've sat here for probably the past 10, 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out how to start this video. I knew that this was something that I wanted to make, but honestly sitting down here, it's very different. And it's really tough. Obviously, by the thumbnail and the title and the fact that it's probably gotten all around the internet at this point, a good friend of mine passed away. His name was Ronnie Edwards, also known as Ronnie Ani Edwards. He ran a show called Egg Rising and Side Questing, and he is also very famous for editing the hit show game. Anybody who is familiar with me knows that I... I, I am... I have clinical depression, and I attempted suicide on many occasions. And on my most recent attempt, on was at a company. And I got better. I realized that suicide is a permanent solution to temporary problems. I wish I could have done more, done the same. But really, that's the way it is. It's always shoulda, coulda, woulda. the horrible, hideous lies of Doom for years. And now that a new Doom just came out, I finally have my chance. Ladies and gentlemen, Doom is not actually a 3D game. It's a 2D top-down shooter.